And pork. This one is a beautiful raw loin. You'd usually use it for chops or roasts. And this stuff, that's Italian bacon, also known as pancetta. What am I going to make today? I'm going to make pancetta cones. For that, you're going to need about 10 carrots, a bunch of fresh oregano, a bunch of dried oregano, a good knob of butter, some ghee, and a little drop of oil. First thing we want to do is get our water on for the carrots, because that's got to be boiling before we put them in. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to trim up your loin. Now, we'll just get that straight onto the bench. First thing you've got to do is cut all the way down that white bit there. Okay. Flip them over. Then the other side. Roll that under. There we go. And that's it done. Back to the big piece of sinew on the top. Just get your knife under it and slide all the way down. Now, that's clean enough for us today. So I'll get rid of this and I'll swap boards. Anytime you use raw meat, Never put any fresh veggies back on top of it. And onto our carrots. Now, got to have a peeler. What are we going to do with these is give them a quick peel, then I'm going to shave them down into a really tight little cone. That's where we get the wrapping action from the long loins and the bits of bacon. So just a very quick trim. Right, you want to get four of your carrots trimmed down into a cone shape. You can do that by taking more off the bottom than you do off the top. Now, the rest of these carrots, they're all going to get cooked down to a mash, which we're going to use as a sauce, combined with a little bit of butter and some of our dried oregano. So, in with the rest of these, your shaped ones, your peelings, and your chopped. We'll give it a bit of salt now, and in they go. So we need to get our oregano chopped up for the marination for the pork. So just tear this off. Because it's quite young oregano, you don't have to worry about the stalks. They're not too woody. So we can just give these a really quick bit of choppage. That's about right. So straight into your bowl. Bit of a pinch of salt and a bit of ground pepper. And then just cover that with oil. You don't want too much. We just want to cover the... What we want is strips right the way along, right the way along, but we want them fairly thin. So just about like that is perfect. Straight into marination. So we'll just make sure all of those strips are nicely coated. Right, let's get these carrot cones out now because they're going to be cooked absolutely perfectly. So just lift them out. And the last one, right, we'll get these carrots back on for about another 15 minutes until they're mashable and onto the pancetta. So what we want to do here is just open it out so that we've got a nice long strip. So take it just a slip down like that and then we'll fold him over and that gives us a nice long strip for winding round and round with our pork. Get your dried oregano into your mortar and give it a good pounding. Right, we want that into a really fine powder, just like that, because that will really combine well into our carrot sauce. Alrighty, we've got our four pancetta strips and our four pork strips. The first one to go down, is your pork strip. Lay it out on your bench. Then you pop on your pancetta, right on top, in with your carrot, and it's just a matter of rolling it all up. Get to the end, in with a toothpick, and also do the same at the bottom. If you get the toothpick going in the same direction, you're going to be able to cook it easier. Of course, you do that four times. Right, that pan is well hot, so in with your ghee, Probably two tablespoons. Lovely. Move it around just a little bit. Right, those carrots are ready to mash as well, so I'll pull those off. Now, we're leaving all that liquor in there because we want it to be saucy. So, in with your cones. Also, your grand oregano, straight into your carrot mix. Power tool time, Mr. Buzzy. Get straight in there and give it a seeing to. Right, these are ready. They can come off and rest just to one side while I finish off the carrot sauce. Right, that sauce is spot on now. We're ready to eat. Look at that. Pan cheddar cones. Three main ingredients. Pork, oregano and carrots. This has cost me about $8.50 per serve. I'm going to have it with a little drop of Chablis. If you want the full recipe on this, which I reckon you should, go to the ABC website and have a look. I'll see you next week.